What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be setting up a Wi-Fi pineapple and with the MK7 AC. So let's hop right into this. So for some context, this right here, the Mark 7, this is my third one. Uh, I got one in here. This is the one I used to travel with when I go like to DEF CON or to the office or whatever. I got one in here, as you guys could see. I got all pretty much all my most of my um, like bash bunnies, OMG cables, rubber duckies, uh, splitters for CCTVs, alphas, etc. In here. Um, I got tactical here's my third one i keep this one at home i do not travel oh actually i got four i got one in my mom's house too in san jose california this is the older one the model before that and i also got uh some of the older models all the way from the beginning back in san jose at my parents house which i got to bring those here before they toss them they don't even know what the hell they are actually my mom knows what they are um for that matter so uh, just for some context, I have always been playing with these. My goal too in the future, um, maybe even at DEF CON if they have it, is to get the Enterprise Edition. Um, I think there's two different variations. One, I'm not sure what that third option is, but I believe there are two different model types. So if they do have that, that might be a possibility. Maybe we'll see, depending on what other toys or tools they have um, available in the vendor section. So for that being said, let's get this thing um, set up. I just wanted to show you guys some context and how long I've been playing with these toys from Hack 5. I remember back in the day, uh, I believe they were in Richmond, California, or Vallejo, California, back when it was the, the brick building. Um, so I've been you know, pretty much fascinated with Hack 5 tools since back in the day. Um, so let's get this bad boy set up and configured. All right, so now we got the screen. Um, real quick, when you're holding the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 up facing forward on the right-hand side of the USB-C, which is in the middle, which is power powering the device, you are going to be tapping that um, until you get the Wi-Fi set up, um, and you will be going to the IP address HTTP 172.1. 6.42.1 colon 147. And it's going to bring you up to the screen. Just keep pressing it. You can actually go up uh, to that website. It's going to be on the card actually for the setup and instructions. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it comes with this card. And, uh, you know, you could also go here. Uh, And it'll show you right here to tap on this, or you could go by the USB-C. I set it up by Wi-Fi, just tapped it. Now, don't do this, obviously, in an insecure environment, but I'm at home, so I'm good. So you got your access point uh, here. Let's upload, or you can upload a one file. You must download the latest firmware to, for your Wi-Fi pineapple. Please select a Wi-Fi network from the list below to automatically download the firmware. Alternatively, you can upload a firmware file. So uh, let me pause this and I shall go to my network. All right, it is connecting, download and verifying firmware. This, uh, if I remember correctly last time, it took about eight-ish minutes total for everything. Um, so we'll let this do its thing and then we'll come right back to the video. I'll just hit the pause button on the recording and then we'll hop right back in once this thing is completed. All right, we have made it back to the setup. Now what I did, you can't see it on my screen, but I went to the my internet tab, opened, and it's gonna be pineapple underscore C-A-E-8. So connect there. Um, I didn't do the tappy tap tap one. I just wanted to test it out, make sure it works on this one. So let's go ahead and begin setup. Now, 
Um, this one, I think we can do this again. Uh, continue with wired setup. Continue with Wi-Fi AP disabled. Recommended secure option requires USB Ethernet connection. Continue with radios disabled. Continue with wireless setup. Hold for four seconds. Now, this one you're going to actually have to hold. Um, you're not going to be tapping until it uh, goes. So we'll just go ahead and one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and nothing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I guess one, after, after you hold for four seconds, I guess you could let it go. We went a little bit above that, so let's go ahead and continue with radios enabled. Hi, uh, change log. This is a newer one, two point one point three. Um, I forgot what these last ones were over uh, as far as the firmware, but this looks a lot newer and different from the other one. So I'm going to have to update all my other ones that I have when I get the chance, hopefully before I leave to DEF CON. Um, so let's go ahead and hit continue. Uh, now we're going to have our root password. Um, I will pause this and get this going. All right, there we go. We got our password set uh shit this is way up there let's see pacific we are in central so root password uh, you're gonna have different kinds of passwords as well so root password is when you're going to set up when you go into the actual login excel uh, ex itself to the actual wi-fi device or wi-fi pineapple device um we got our time zone set so let's go ahead and click next now you're, this is where i said you're gonna have multiple passwords you're gonna have one for your management ap this AP is used to manage the Wi-Fi pineapple wirelessly. So if you want to manage it wirelessly, you're going to have to set up your password, um, your SSID name, open AP. This AP is used with Pine AP for targets to connect to. So just an example, you know, got how I like to fuck around with the Hooter stuff, right? So let's just go ahead and go Hooters. Oops. Guest. Wi-Fi current country United States here we'll go Mr. Robot um, and then I'll go ahead and do my password all right we got those up and running now now you could go ahead and hide management AP disable management AP um, I believe if you disable this you're going to have to be hardwired you're going to have to be hardwired in meaning through the USB-C itself uh, and then this one, hide open AP. You could hide this until you get to your location on where you want um, your targets to connect or when you want your targets to connect to it. Go ahead and hit next. Oop, the management passwords do not match. Ooh, okay. One second. There we go. We got it. All right. So deny list. Now allow, if you click allow list and nothing's in here, um, nothing's going to work if I remember correctly. So what I do for now until I get all this stuff situated, is go ahead and do deny list. Um, any device not listed may connect, block all devices listed. Okay, so any device not listed. So we got nothing listed here. So pretty much anything can connect to it right now. Um, so let's go ahead and hit next. Select filter mode above. Same thing for now. The deny list, deny associations for the listed SSIDs. All other. All other SSID associations are accepted. So let's go ahead and hit next. I want the dark mode. Terms of service, I accept, I accept, finish. Setup complete. We have now completed our Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Please connect to the Wi-Fi Pineapple Management Access Point and refresh the page to continue. So we're going to go down here. Um, now that we changed it, We are on, so now we are going to type in our password. Log in, and we are in. I do not want to save this. So connect to the internet, uh, wire wireless client mode, connect to a Wi-Fi access point, which I will, network settings, internet connection sharing, USB ethernet adapter, go to network se settings, uh, client mode, all right, I will show my, my internet. It will be changed. This is a guest mode. Obviously, abolish the IRS. Taxation is slavery. So we will, um, that will change after this video. This is what 
This is on my guest network. So uh, let's go here. We got general user management and time zone. You could update all this stuff as you go. Um, resources, USB devices. Um, networking, this is where you're going to connect, connect the wireless client mode. Uh, interfaces, routing tables, recon wire, wireless interface. We also got Wi-Fi tab, management access point. Mr. So this is the one where we set up in the beginning. You could obviously change it, update it, change your uh, password. LED, uh, you could do your, you know, your lights, red, green, blue. Advanced tab, alternate updates, censorship mode. This is actually a new one for me. Censorship mode will hide part, parts, sensitive information, such as MAC address, SSIDs, and other such data if random censorship is enabled. Data is spoofed in addition to being part censored. Part being part censored. Okay. Hotkeys. Host name, management access, and then you also got your help tab button information, diagnostic licenses. Uh, nothing crazy here. You got your campaigns, right? You're going to launch your campaigns if you want to add one. Welcome to campaigns. Automate Wi Fi audits with campaign configured to your pen test. Give your campaign name. Maybe I'll go into this a little later in another video. Campaign report. So after you do your campaigns, um, pretty much you'll have a report. I believe they show those uh, in a couple of their their YouTube videos on what they look like. Pretty interesting. Um, if they show it here, no. Nope. So here's how your reports will look. Um, you could download, delete. But so when you download them, I believe they're going to be in a PDF. Uh, is it HTM? Oh, HTML, and then you can copy, save it, and, and export it into a PDF, and then it also has a text. Uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple, so Pine AP. This is where you quickly set the general behavior of the Pine AP, advanced, active, passive. Um, you're going to do all your setup here. And then also Open AP, Pine AP, Open Access Point. Now the big one, Evil WP. Evil Pine AP Evil WPA here. Um, here's what you do to capture handshakes. Hidden enable view handshakes. They'll all pop up here, and then also you could, I guess, change your handshake settings or directory where you want those saved. Oops. Pine A Pine AP Evil Enterprise. To use Pine AP Enterprise, you must configure and generate a certificate. Certificate generation may take up to 15 minutes. And I believe this too also will work really well with their C2 server uh, if you have that license. Impersonation, spoofed AP pool, clients, filtering, the whole nine. So here you got wireless landscape, channel distribution, handshakes, captured handshakes right here. So similar to Wi Fi, when you capture your handshakes, they'll be stored here. Obviously in Cali, they're going to be in your, uh, what is it, .hs or hs folder or hs, yeah, the hs folder. Um, Pine AP activity, syslogs. Here is where you're going to have your modules to install. This is obviously we don't have anything installed right now. Available modules, get available modules. Let's see if it works. Fail to obtain modules. Please check. I just connected. Uh, okay, so we got to go back here. Uh, manage reports. Oh, settings. There we go. Scan, go here, sometimes it's buggy at first after the initial setup or update um, that kicks you off and some, sometimes you have to go, now we're connected client mode again. So when it turns green, you're connected. So now let's go back here, modules, get available modules, hopefully it doesn't. God damn it, it kicked us out. Okay, so. All right, there we go. Now we are connected. No more issues. I had to use my hotspot. So this is what it's going to look like when it's connected. You're still going to have your neon green signs up here, but um, yeah, I got to configure that onto my router. It's not taking it due to security reasons. So I got to make that change on my end, allow it onto my home router. So anyway. 
So guys, that is the video. That is the basic overall setup and configuration of the Wi-Fi Pineapple. I will be going over some other ones to install some of the packages, uh, modules, packages, and going over some of those, and then possibly even going more in a deeper dive if you guys want. Um, so please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to go deeper and do some more stuff with the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Until the next one, guys, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.